Hello everybody, my name is Ruffro, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. As you can see here, I have a tier list, and it features all, if not most, of SSO's horse models, including some that have been retired, but all of them that are currently actively in the game should be in here, except for any of the uh, transforming horses, the magic horses, uh, I'm leaving them out simply because most of them have the same model as a horse that is in this list already. And it would just be too long if I added all the magical horses. So this is what we have. I'm going to be ranking all of these horses um, based on my preferences. Do you want to emphasize that these are simply my preferences? This is just for fun. So without further ado, let's just get started. So starting off, we will be kind of going in um, alphabetical order, except for some of the retired models that I had to find um, will be towards the end. So that means we are starting off with the Echo Tech. This guy is so wonky and so funny. I think he's really cute. So I think he's a solid C for right now. And next up is going to be the American Paint Horse. Um, this one I really like. I have two of them. I have the Magic Horse one, the purple one, and then I also have the uh, black or the gray paint one. And I like them. Um, and for that reason, I think he belongs in B tier. I like him a lot better than the Quarter Horse for sure. Our next horse is going to be the American Quarter Horse. I, I just don't like the headset. I don't want my Quarter Horses to always be in pleasure mode or have their heads down so far all the time i just feel like he looks a little weird because of that because of that i think he he gets a c tier as well next we have a little bit of a newer uh, model to come out this is the american saddlebred i don't have one myself i'm not a super big gated horses fan so i've just not gotten one maybe eventually when they're a little bit cheaper i might get one because i do think they're kind of cute and a little silly so um but i i definitely like him I think he goes in a B tier, probably like a lower B tier, just because I've never had one before. I don't really know what he like rides like and stuff like that. After that, we go into the uh, Andalusian, and this guy is really cool. I do have one of these. I have, yeah, I have the gray one of these, and I really liked him. I loved him when he came out. I think the mold is really nice. He just hasn't held up as much now that he's a little bit older. I think a high, a high, or a low B tier, I think is good for him. That leads us into the Appaloosas. Um, and I actually really like the model, but I'm not necessarily as big on the colors. I have the Peacock Appaloosa one, and I really like him. He's going into a uh, into uh, the A tier. And next up in the A's, we have the Arabians. Now these guys are so cool and so versatile. I think they're super nicely done. Um, a lot of interesting colors, especially the new one that just came out with the bloody shoulder. I really am liking that one. Might get that one one day. But I, I think this one goes into the same A category. I think it's a little bit higher than the Appaloosa for me, but I think A is appropriate. Kind of going along with the Arabian, basically the same model is the Pintavian. I don't mind the Pintavians. Um, I just don't really like a lot of their colors. Obviously, the 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 model is actually pretty much the same as the the pin, uh, the regular Arabian. Different colors and name different things. But I'm gonna put them in B tier just because I don't necessarily like the the colors as much. Next, we have the Arabian Thoroughbred. Now this guy, this guy is wonky. He is so cartoony and so weird looking. I have one and their eyes are basically at the front of their head, I think. I, I think, I don't know if he deserves F tier. But I, so for right now, we're gonna put him in B tier. A model I just got for the first time not that long ago, that is the Ardenus. He is so cute. He's probably my favorite draft that Star Stables has done. The animations are cute. His idol animations are cute. The coat colors are really nice. So, I, I mean, this guy, this guy's going in A tier for sure. Next up, we have the Chico Teak Pony. These guys, I've never really been drawn to. Uh, I don't really like any of the coat colors. They're very meh to me. Probably put him in, I don't even think, like a high D tier, I guess. Now here's the Belgian Warmblood. This, this guy, this guy, no, no need. He is an a S tier for sure. This guy is so cool. I like a lot of his coat colors. He's like the horse that brought me back to Star Stables. 
when I was kind of in like a slump of Star Stable. He was just so cool. But yeah, these guys are definitely S tier. Now we have the Clydesdale, and, and this, these guys are, are very wonky as well. Um, they're going D tier. I don't like a lot of the colors. Then we have the Connemara Pony. This guy, actually, I don't mind as much as I thought. I, I think he's going to be a C tier. I don't necessarily like the model, but I, I do like a lot of the colors, and the model is okay. I think he's nicer than a lot of the ponies we have. Next up is kind of a controversial one. It's the Curly Horse. I don't think this guy is as bad as people are, are saying, um, but I definitely don't think he gets above a C tier. I think a D tier is gonna be where he's at. He is a little, a little ugly, unfortunately. Along the lines of all the ponies we have, we have the Dartmoor Pony. Again, kind of like the Chico T Pony, doesn't really stand out to me that much. It's like, I, I feel like it's just another pony. I think he's all right. I think he's a little bit better than the Chico Teague, so I think he's going at a low C. Next up, we have the English Thoroughbred, um, the newer one. This guy, I have two of them, and I love my Thoroughbreds, and I think he's so wonky, but I think he's so cool. He's going into the B, the B tier for sure. We have the Gen 1 English Thoroughbred, which are so wonky, but they're so cute, so he's gonna go in a C, because he is very wonky. I do have two of them though, and I think he's very cute. Next up is the Finn Horse. Again, kind of like the Connemara and the Dartmoor, just don't really stand out to me at all when I look at them. I'm gonna put this guy at a high D tier just because he doesn't really stand out. He's not that great. Then we have the newer Frisians. I think they're really nice. I, I'm not gonna get one personally, but I think it's the nicest version of the Frisians they've done. I think he definitely deserves a higher spot up here. So I think, I think Probably a, a a B is good for him. I think a B works. The next Frisian we have is the G2 Frisian, I believe. And he's nice. I have one. He's not amazing. He's a C. He's a C tier. He's not bad. A little greasy maybe, but not bad. Along with those, we have the Frisian Sport Horse version of the G2 Frisian. They probably go in the same, a same tier. They're in a, a C tier. Uh, they're nice, and some of the coats are really nice. Next up, we have the Gotland Pony. Lots of ponies early in this uh, list, and I actually like these be uh, better than the, Dar the Dartmoor and obviously the Chico Teague, um, but not as much as the Connemara. I think they're nice. I like a lot of the colors. I think this one's gonna go in C tier as well. And then we have another pony. We have the Halflinger. Um, the newer one first. This guy's actually so cool. I I'm gonna put this guy in a B tier. I don't have one yet my opinion might change from b to a if i had one now this one the old halflinger this dude f tier i do not like this horse every time i see him i think it's so gross he's like a blocky i, I yeah no f tier 100 percent. then we have the hanoverian which i don't mind this hanoverian i don't think he's great but i don't think he's as uh, he's super terrible uh, i think he's a, a solid c tier and then we have the icelandic i don't have one of these but i think he's probably the one of the cuter ponies kind of like the halflinger i think his little tolt is really cute a lot of the coats are really cute. So I think a solid B tier. This guy is probably gonna be controversial, but I had two, almost, I think I had two or three of these Icelandics. Um, I think he's like a high, a, probably a high C, but for now we'll put him right there. And then we have another one of the Frisian sport horses. This one is the Jorvik uh, Frisian, I believe it's called. Let me just check that. Yeah, Jorvik Frisians. This guy I didn't really like. I think I'm gonna put him in D. The, this one and these are definitely the better ones. One of the earliest horses that I can remember wanting to buy when I joined Star Stables was the Jorvik Pony. And they are very sentimental, but they are a little fugly. He's going to go in D. Um, and then the newer version is definitely a lot better. I think it's a solid C for the, the newer version of the Jorvik Pony. Then we have the Jorvik Wild Horses. I think they're cool in concept. They're just not my cup of tea at all. I have had a few and I've never kept them around. Yeah, it just is not not my not my vibe. I think D tier. Then we have the Jorvik Warmbloods. I actually have a couple of these, which is kind of crazy. It's a very standard model. Um, all of our starter horses look like this. And I don't... 
I mean, I don't think he goes with the C tiers, but I def definitely need to rework this D tier because I think some of these deserve actually to be an F instead of D. Now we have the Canab Struppers. When these guys came out, I was really excited for an Appaloosa, very sport horse model. And that is not what we got, unfortunately. Um, these guys are a, an F tier for sure. Then we have the Dutch Warm Blood. And I really, really like the Dutch Warm Blood. And this might be controversial, but I don't like their trot very much. In certain circumstances, I do. But I don't think he's S tier. I think he's A tier high a tier for sure but i don't know about s like s is like horses i would buy like i would almost buy all of them you know and i don't know if i'd want another one the lip is honors i don't i don't really like the lip is honors at all i'll be honest i think they're all right i think they're they're a, a c tier um and then following that up the the old version is definitely a a D tier, almost F. Then we have the old Lusitanos. These guys are so weird looking. I think he deserves a D tier. I don't, I have one and I don't really like him. Their tail is like stuck. He's not the greatest model that Star Stables has ever done. Next up is the Marwari. I actually don't mind the Marwari. I think they're kind of cute. They're a lot, they are a little bit, you know, your pencil legs. And I think a C is, is where he's going to be. The newer Morgans. Um, I am not really a big fan of them. They're all right, though. I'd probably say C tier just because there's a lot of colors that I really like on them. And then we have the older Morgan, which is actually crazy that I'm going to do this because usually it doesn't happen. But the older Morgan is a B tier, 100%. I had three of them. And I loved these guys. I think they are really cool. I really liked them. So they're they're uh, one of the old older horses that is is going up in B. The newer Mustangs. Um, I really like these guys. I I kind of want one every time I see one, but then I'm kind of don't want one. I think he's a solid. A solid B tier. His mane, I think he looks much more like a Mustang than the Gen 1. Which, speaking of the Gen 1, it's going in F tier because I don't like it at all. Then we have the North Swedish horse. I think this guy is cute. I don't really love him though. I think he's a D tier. And then we can put the the old North Swedish in C. I really liked the old one. I think it looked really nice. And then we have the Fjords. Um, the only Fjord I have is the Halloween one of this model. And I really like him. Um, uh, and I don't, I like the newer ones. I think he's He's a, a C tier, and I think the old one is is right there with him. I think they both are C tiers. We then have the Paso Fino, and I, I, I don't mind him. I think he's a C tier. I would never get one, though. We then have the Percherons. The Percherons um, are, I like a lot of the colors, but I don't necessarily like the model. I think he's all right. Like, I love, love, love the dark gray that the Percheron has. Now, here is another one that is just, it just needs no explanation. The Cell Francais is probably, is S tier as well with the, with the Belgian Warm Blood, for sure. Um, a lot of the colors are nice. I have three of them now. Really like it. I, I, I like the movement. You feel like the horse is actually pushing off the ground with its strides. I think it's one of the nicer models that Star Stables has done. We then have the Shire. Um, the Shires are all right. They're cute. Not anything special either. They're very middle of the road. They're one of the nicer drafts that Star Stables has done for sure. Then we have the old Shire and that's going in D. It was so big and bulky and just awkward. It almost could go in F. Again, we'll reevaluate this at the end. We then have the Irish Cobbs. I think they're about the same as what I think about the, the old Shires. Just a little bit big and wonky for kind of no reason. I don't really like them. They're all right. I would love to see a newer version of them. I think they would be really pretty. So I, I think for right now, a D tier is going to work. Then we have the Tennessee Walkers. I don't mind these guys. I think they're a solid, I think they're a solid B. I, I've never had one, um, but I like how they look and I like their little head movement. I think eventually I'd like to get one maybe at the bazaar or something like that. But yeah, I think their movement is cute and I've started to like them more and more as I've seen them, people riding them and, and stuff like that. Then we have the Tricaners, which are all right. They remind me a lot of the Jorvik Warmbloods, really. They're a nice solid horse. You can't really go wrong. I think they're a nice C tier. 
We then have the Welsh Pony. The newer one I don't really like. I think it looks a little weird. Probably one of the more newer horses that I actually don't like. The face is really dish. He just looks a little creepy to me. And then same with the old Welsh Pony. Why is he beef beefed up like that? Why does he want to fight, you know? Now we have gotten to these four, which are more of, uh, I mean, some of these other ones like the Fjord and the others are horses that have been retired and they don't use them anymore. So first we have the Danish or Dutch warm blood, I believe. Um, these guys were cute, but they were very ugly. Um, they're kind of weird looking. Then we have the OG Frisian. This guy, I remember when everybody would line up at Steve's or at Moreland and just shove these in new players' faces. I think they're A tier. And then we have the the Andalusian version or the Sport Horse version, I believe. And they're a B tier. I think they're a solid B tier horse. I like a lot of the colors. And then we have the old Arabian, the first generation Arabian. And this guy, I had a couple of these guys and honestly, they're S tier. I really liked them. They were so, so cool. I mean, they were the first horse that I really vibed with at Star Stable. And maybe it's more of an emotional connection. Maybe I should put them in, maybe A. Let's just put them in A because I feel like these two just, I mean, he can't compete with these two, you know? But now let's go through and just make sure all of our categories are where we want them to be. Um, right now, I think S tier is perfect. I almost think that these vintage guys should go down because I feel like these four are really nice, but I think they are really nice horses. So I'm gonna leave them like that. I have these guys. I think all of them are good. I don't think any of them should go up. I think our C tier is pretty good. I think it's all of the middle of the road horses. I think the only one I want to move is is probably the Marwari. I think the Marwari can go to B and then this North Swedish horse can go to B too. I think both of those are really nice and I think that opens up a little bit here where I think that the Orvik Warmblood can go up to um, this C tier um, and I think that the Chico T Pony can go up to C as well. And then I think this Arabian needs to go down to e uh, F um, and then I think this Olympus Honor should go down to F. I think the Orvik Frisian could, should go down to F. And I think that's good. I think I think this is good. Let me know what you think about my about my ratings. I think I did pretty good. But obviously, I have different tastes than other people. But if you want to try this for yourself, I'm gonna to try to upload this, and I will put a link in the description if I can figure that out and tag me. Um, I would love to see uh, your opinions on horses. That is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again. If you have any other video ideas you would like me to do, definitely leave them in the comments. Um, but for now, bye-bye.